Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial I will be teaching you the the basic functions of cascading style sheets or as most people know them as CSS. Now I want you to create a file called style.css. So you go to your your index uh, your right here right click new and go to text document and then type in style.css okay see that I'm just going to delete it because I don't need it and then once you have that opened <coughs> we're going to teach you how to like edit body functions okay so what you want to do is type in the word body and then the little squiggly thing. I'm going to make the text a little better so you can read it. Read it easier. So like that. And then put in one enter and a tab. Okay? And then we're going to change the background color. So type in background dash color and put a colon and then a space. If you want to specific, specifically identify a color with a name, type in the color name. So let's do black. And if you were to do hex, it would be number 000000. zero, 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 zero. That's six zeros in all. Okay? So now we're going to save this. I'm going to open up another one of these. Yeah, let me just make it a little smaller. I'm gonna open up a file I've already created called page. .php. Don't look. At, okay. And then we're gonna do. This is how you'll include it on a web page. Okay, this should work. So let's save that and then go into here. A little local host slash php1. Then we'll hit page. See now the background color is black. So let's go back to here and edit a little more. Now let's change the font color. So let's do color colon space. Then if you want to specif specifically identify a color using its name, type in the color of its name. So we'll do white. And for hex, it's number one, two, three, four, five, six, six F's. So now we'll go ahead and save this. And we're going to edit this. We're going to say hello world file save. Open this, refresh, and now your text is a white color. Now we could always change the the font family. The one I have right now is Verdana. So let's change it to, to Arial. Well, Arial's always the default. So let's change it to Tahoma. And we'll save that. Okay, and refresh here. And your font has now changed to Tahoma. Now go back to here and we'll change the font size. So do font dash size. Okay, and then a space. And then whatever size you want it. So let's do 12. And then do PT for point. File, save. Go to Firefox or Internet Explorer. Now the font size has increased. If you look at the source code for this, you're going to notice that it's not going to actually include what you see here. It's only including what we typed in here. See? Okay? And then, <coughs> then we could just continue on for the body. We could add a border to it. So we'll do border 5 picks. I'm going to make this simple for you. So I'm going to do border width 5 and then px for pixels and then border style 
There's multiple border styles, but for now we're just going to stick with solid. And then we'll do border color, and we will do red. So let's just type in red. File save. Sometimes this does not work for all browsers, but it should. See, now we're adding an actual body to it. And we could always add padding to it, so go here, padding three picks, which will push three pixels away from each side so it could include something of C. Now it's not all pushed together as one. Okay? Well, there's numerous things you can do with um, cascading style sheets, but for now I'm just going to show you how to do this stuff. And voila, you successfully created this. So, thank you and hope you enjoy my next one.